What up, Team Huck House? It's Cody. Jonathan's out of town this whole week, which means I'm in the backcountry all week, and I thought I might as well make myself useful and make a video. So I'm at Bale Pass today with Kaiser, and uh, Kaiser and I have been snowboarding quite a bit together, so I thought I'd make a video and just like take you along with us and kind of just give you guys tips and show you what I've learned about backcountry snowboarding or skiing with your dog. So before we get too far into this, I thought I'd just kind of go over some things that I carry in my pack anytime that I'm taking Kaiser out. What? He's so ready. So, always bring a leash with me. You always need a leash. And then, I have this bag of dog treats that I keep on the side of my pack. Uh, I used to just keep treats in my pocket, but if I take off my jacket, then I gotta move my treats and stuff, and it's kind of annoying. This thing, it's like, they're always right there. It looks a little goofy, but it's handy. It also has a little dog poop bag thing which is nice i also will always carry water i don't bring a whole lot i know i'm not gonna drink much water and he honestly won't either but you gotta have it and then collapsible water bowl for the dog always have a first aid kit and then also i have this thing the fido pro airlift this is like a sling that should kaiser get hurt he cuts his paw up or maybe he just gets too tired and he can't make it back i don't want to be two miles into the back country and have a dog that can't move so i can throw my 90 pound dog on my back and get back to the truck one more thing that we always take with us for kaiser's paws we have this musher's wax it's uh i've heard people all also use vaseline and it does basically the same thing but we're bougie, so we got the real stuff. Put this on Kaiser's paws, and it really helps to protect them from the snow and ice. You'll see them not picking up their paws as much when you put this stuff on. It just helps keep your dog more comfortable out there, and maybe they'll last a little longer for you. If I have to tell you this, you probably shouldn't be in the backcountry, but if you are going in the backcountry, obviously you need your beacon, probe, and shovel. But on that note, you don't have to go to the backcountry necessarily if you want to take your dog out. Some resorts will let you take your dog after hours. Uh, a Basin does, so most of the time that we've been out, we've actually gone to A Basin before they open or after they close. This is our first time at Vail Pass, so we actually don't know how it's going to go. I've been here a lot uh, on my own, but I haven't taken him, so there's actually a good chance that he just swims in powder and uh, we have to abort and finish this video in Vail, but we'll see what happens. Chill, dog. Now what I like to do with the leash, just to keep it handy, but out of the way, I clip it onto this little loop and I feed it through. A little overhand knot, it stays out of the way, but I can get it quick if I need it. Now we're moving. Come on, buddy. So one thing that's kind of cool about Vail Pass in particular is they have these little beacon checks that'll let you know that your beacon's transmitting. So if you come out here by yourself, and you don't have anyone to do a beacon check with, at least you know something's reading you. On that note of beacons though, I did look before I started doing this with Kaiser to see if it was a good idea to put a beacon on your dog. And uh, the answer is no, because as much as I hate this, if say you're with a group and your dog gets buried with your friends, you, you wanna save your friends first, as sad as that is. So just keep that in mind when you take your dog, I guess. If you don't want your dog buried in an avalanche, don't take your dog in avalanche terrain. You can always just take your dog to the resort too. Nothing wrong with that. The other thing, when you're out here with your dog, and you're kind of putting all of your thought and effort into taking care of your dog and making sure he's comfortable and safe and all that. Don't forget to take care of yourself too. If you get hot, stop, shed a layer, take a drink, do whatever you need to do. Because if you fall apart out here, you're not gonna be much help for your dog. Okay, buddy. Let's go. Now, one thing that I would say is the most important thing to teach your dog before you come out is if you want to have a solid recall. So Kaiser's pretty good about, he'll get up ahead of me. I can see him right now. He's running ahead, but once he realizes he's kind of getting out of eye shot, he'll stop and wait or come back. See, right there, he just realized he was out and came back. So we're going to reward that. But you want to also be able to call him in. So if you see another group or you see a moose or maybe there's a piece of terrain that you want him to not go near, then 
You want to be able to call him back. We'll let him get out a little bit. Kind of hip. Good boy. So most of the time, he's pretty good about coming when I call him. And when we come out here, it's kind of like a training day. Like we're working on mostly that the whole time. It's especially important too at a resort. Because if I go to a resort with him, I might see employees riding down at the end of the day or ski patrol doing their check or uh, cat groomers out. So I want to make sure that Kaiser being off leash, I have full control of him. Another thing, when you do your recalls while you're touring, I don't know if you noticed, but I called him back and I put my poles out like this so he doesn't run in to my skis with sharp edges around. He doesn't really understand those. Guys, here. Good boy. Good here. See, like I'm barreling in. Don't let him run into your skis. Ruin your day. Whew. It's hot. Come on, buddy. Guys, are not that trail. This one. Mentioned earlier that this could be a disaster. The reason being that I say that is I come here a lot. I knew that the skin track, or at least this part, he's going to be fine on. But we're going up there to that peak. And every time I've taken him into like the true back country, it's deep. And he's a 90 pound German Shepherd. He just swims. So he doesn't get very far. He gets wore out really quick. So we're going to start heading up this. And uh, we get off the skin track and see how he's moving through the powder. And then make a decision if it's worth trying to go all the way up and get some turns because it looks so good up there or if we need to bail and just come back and this is just a skinning trip and maybe we go snowboard a day basin tonight so we'll see but when you take your dog out you kind of have to always be ready to bail or you know put you put the dog first whatever you need to do you know it, it's easy to come out here and like i'm looking at the snow up there a little bit wishing i didn't have kaiser it's a guarantee that i get to ride it but we can always come back. All right, time to put the heel risers up. And start climbing up what we're gonna ride down. We're gonna get a little ways up here, and then peel off the skin track. Let's see how this guy's doing. Guys, are here. Whoa. Okay. Let's see if we're mobile. Guys, you're not sinking too much. Go, buddy. Look at that. He's running in it. I think we're good to go. We might test out a couple other spots on the way up, but with what I just saw, I'm comfortable taking him up. Worst case, he might be a little slow, so I'll have to kind of keep an eye on him, make sure I'm not getting too far in front of them, but also wait up for them in certain spots that I'm not going to get stuck. But we'll talk about that more on the way down. What are you doing? <laughs> Should we see if you can move in this snow? Look how good that looks. Come here, buddy. So he's not living horribly but he is sinking down to his belly here well it looks real good what i need to work with is just teach him to run down the skin track but i have no idea how to do that because he's just gonna follow me and my path will pack in a little bit he's still probably gonna be sinking in a little bit so i'm gonna slow right down but also just considering that kaiser seven almost eight years old come on bub. let's go go I'm not trying to push it, you know, just getting them out here for an adventure, it's already a win. So, I'm not putting any pressure on to go to the tippy top with them. Look at him, he's actually moving pretty good. But still, I don't have to go to the very top with him. We'll go like a thousand feet or so, and then turn around. He'll be tired for like two days straight. Now if you have like a Australian Shepherd or something, you could do like a big 20 mile tour. It doesn't matter the snow condition. The dog's gonna run like crazy. He loves this stuff. If you ever have the opportunity to take your dog snowboarding, it's like 
the best thing ever. All right, so we've made it about halfway up this slope, and uh, I think instead of going up any further, we're at the top of this big open powder field. It looks really nice, and I know that above me is kind of just steeper trees, which uh, there's just no point in us going up there anymore. When we can session this, I can keep an eye on Kaiser. It'll be easier to not lose him. And if he's really got energy still at the bottom, I'll just come back up and do this again. So just kind of always thinking about him. Look how much he's swimming. See, I really think by the time we get to the bottom of this, he's going to be pretty tired. So this is probably just about right for Kaiser. He would stop getting in front of me. Pack down a little spot to transition. Guys, you here. Can you see how close he just got to that tree well? Your dog doesn't understand hazards like that tree well right there, so that's why having a good recall is super important. So the first thing I do is fall in the snow. When I'm transitioning, I'll always put some water out for Kaiser, even though I know he's not going to drink it but it makes me feel like a better person and it lightens my pack. So kind of a win-win. Also, put that layer back on before you transition. If you're hot on the way up, you'll get cold really quick. All right, we got our skis turned into a snowboard. The race are going down, a couple things on the downhill when I'm especially when I'm with Kaiser I like to carry my poles with me that way if he's in front of me he kind of like runs at me or something because he, he does that sometimes especially on groomers I can stick my poles out and keep him from running into the snowboard getting hurt having to put him in that sling and lug him out of here but the idea is we're gonna probably have him behind me anyways just because I'll be able to move a lot quicker than him so I just gotta make sure I you know keep an eye on him don't get lost don't let him get lost on a groomer versus here it's really important if you're in front of your dog don't just charge down especially if you have a dog like kaiser that you kind of have to worry about his joints he's a little older he's seven years old you know if i just bomb a groomer he's gonna charge as fast as he can and i don't really want him doing that on a groomer so i'll keep it really really slow or get in the trees but out here just kind of don't lose him sort of thing so let's get going you ready bud He's keeping up actually pretty good. He's staying in the track. We're right by the skin track right now. But over here where it's nice and open. Come on, buddy. So he's doing pretty good. That's a good boy. Okay. Don't worry about that right He's tired though. Oh, he's doing pretty good. Good job, Kai the dog. He's struggling a little bit, but he's still making pretty good, pretty good moves. I'm gonna stop for a second, let him catch up. Good boy. Good boy. See, as much as I want to just absolutely rip down the rest of this, this dude's tired. So I'm gonna wait, let him catch up. Let him catch his breath for a second. He kind of looks like he's ready to go. So uh, let's get it. We're almost out of here. Wow! Oh my god! This is so good. It's so good. Where are you at, Kaiser? Oh, he's actually running down the skin track. That's awesome. Kaiser's kind of figured out just to uh, stay on the skin track, and uh, I'm cool with it. That's like exactly what I want him to do. Wow! Made it. Last night turn. that I think Kaiser's pretty tired I don't think there's any reason we need to go back up there and do it again we got some pow turns we got a tired dog for sure so we're just gonna go ahead and transition and uh, 
skin out of here and call it a day. I think we've pretty much gone over everything. I am pretty new to skinning in general or split boarding. So Kaiser and I are kind of figuring stuff out as we go. But if you have anything to add to this, anything that I'm missing, my camera died. But with that team hook house, thank you so much for starting with us today. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep evolving. We'll see you again tomorrow with another wow. <gasps> we'll see you again tomorrow with another video because it's daily on this channel. We do stuff like this. Daily.